Hi Judgers! Welcome to another segment of One Early Wag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. For today, we will be discussing on how to solve rational equation. So this topic is under grade 11 general mathematics. So before I discuss solving rational equation, let us first have this example. So what if I am given this example? So I have here 3 over 4 is equal to x over 4. Since we have this example, I have a fraction on the left side and also a fraction on the right side. So they are both fractions. So if I am given this one, the very first thing that I need to do is to retain x on the right side and then cross multiply 4 because we are solving for the value of x. If I cross multiply 4, therefore this is 4 times 3 over 4 is equal to x. Cancel out 4, cancel out 4, therefore the value of x is equal to 3. So if we will be checking if the answer is correct, it's just you need to substitute the value of x in the equation. So for the checking, this is just equal to 3 over 4 is equal to what is the value of x? The value of x that we have solved is 3. Therefore, that is just equal to 3 over 4. In this case, that is a solution. Therefore, 3 is a solution. So another way is that if we are given 3 over 4 is equal to x over 4, this is just very simple in order for this to have a final answer or in order for us to simplify this fraction all we have to do is to look at the denominator are they the same if they are the same you could just cancel it out cancel 4 cancel 4 therefore the value of x is just equal to 3 and we'll be getting the same answer so let's start now with our first example so for our first example we could there are many ways on which we could solve for irrational equation so there are many methods so we could use cross multiplication we could use lcd we could use factorization so what if we're now given x over 5 plus 1 over 4 is equal to x over 2 so if this is the case all we have to do we are given fractions if we are given fractions all we have to do is to get the lcd but in this case we are given x over 5 plus 1 over 4 is equal to x over 2 i will just transfer x over 2 to the left side and transfer 1 4 to the right side so that the terms on the left side will only contain the variable x while on the right side will only be having constant values so if i have here now x over 5 transfer x over 2 to the left side if that is positive it becomes negative x over 2 is now equal to positive 1 fourth to the right side it becomes negative 1 over 4 so we now have here we now have here x over 5 minus x over 2 is equal to 1 fourth in order for us to solve for this one all we have to do is to get the lcd of the left side since this is a fraction and the lcd of this one 5 and 2 is just equal to 10 therefore 10 divided by 5 is 2 times x that becomes 2x 10 divided by 2 that is 5 times negative x that is negative 5x is now equal to negative 1 over 4 simplifying 2x minus 5x that becomes negative 3x over 10 is now equal to negative 1 over 4 so what i'll be doing is to multiply both sides by negative 1 since they both contain negatives so that both equations will be positive so negative 1 times 3 negative 3 over x over 10 that is 3 over 10 it becomes now 3x over 10 so that it becomes positive negative 1 times negative 1 fourth is positive 1 over 4 so in this case all i have to do 
is to multiply or to cross multiply. Therefore, this becomes 3x is equal to 10 times 1 over 4. That is 10 over 4. Therefore, all we have to do now is to divide both sides by 3. Therefore, this is now over 3 or to just cross multiply 3 for 4. And x now is equal to 10 over 4 times 3. It is equal to 10 over 12. And simplifying, 10 over 12 is just equal to 5 over 6. Therefore, the computed value now for x is equal to 5 over 6. So, this is now our answer. But how do we know if our answer is correct? Therefore, we need to check. So, in checking, all you have to do is to substitute the value of x, which is 5 over 6, into the equation x over 5 plus 1 over 4 is equal to x over 2. Since this is 5 over 6, let us now substitute. We have 5 over 6 over 5 plus 1 over 4 is equal to 5 over 6 over 2. So let us simplify. This is also 5 over 6 over 5 over 1. Therefore, we'll now be having 5 over 6 times the reciprocal of the denominator, which is 1 over 5 plus 1 fourth is equal to, this is 5 over 6 over 2 over 1, or that is 5 over 6 times 1 half. So 5 over 6 times 1 over 5 cancel out 5. We'll now be having 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4. Is this equal to the right side? This is 5 times 1, which is 5 over 6 times 2, which is 12. Is 1 over 6 plus 4 equal to 5 over 12? Let's find out. So, 6 and 4. So, what will be the LCD of 6 and 4? The LCD would be 12. 12 divided by 6 is 2 times 1. That is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3 times positive 1. That is 3. Is it equal to 5 over 12? 2 plus 3 is 5 over 12. Therefore, the left side is now equal to the right side. And x is equal to 5 over 6 is a solution. Okay? Therefore, our answer is 5 over 6. So, again, there are many ways in which we could solve for a rational equation. So, we could um, have the least common denominator or we could multiply its denominator or we could use factorization so let's have another example so let's try to solve another example of rational equation so what if let's have again another example for the fraction so what if we are given 1 over 4 is equal to 3 over x minus 1 half. Okay, so in this case, we are now given 1 fourth is equal to 3 over x minus 1 half. So we're given fractions again. And since I told you earlier that we should transfer the constant and retain the variable on just one side. So I will just transfer negative one half to the left side. Therefore, this becomes one fourth. Negative one half, it becomes positive one half, is now equal to three over x. The next thing that we need to do is to get the LCD. The LCD of four and two is just four. Therefore, four divided by four is one, times one is one. Four divided by two is two, times one is two. Therefore, we'll now be having 1 plus 2 over 4 is equal to 3 over x. Simplifying, 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 over 4 is equal to 3 over x. Since x is in the denominator, what we'll be doing is to just cross multiply. And since this is 3 and this is also 3, we could cancel out because they have the same numerator. 
So again, this is an equation. If you have the same numerator or the same denominator, all you have to do is to cancel out. Okay, so we cross multiply x, therefore this becomes x is equal to cross multiply 4 to the other side, therefore x is equal to 4. Since x is equal to 4, let us try to check if 4 is really a solution. So x is equal to 4, 1 fourth is equal to 3 over x minus 1 half. So let us now try to know if the left side is equal to the right side. So we have 1 fourth, is it equal to 3 over 4 minus 1 half? 1 fourth is equal to get the LCD of 4 and 2, therefore that is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 therefore we'll be having 1 over 4 is equal to 3 minus 2 which is 1 over 4 therefore 1 over 4 is equal to 1 over 4 and x is equal to 1 over 4 is a solution okay so that is how we solve for that example so do not forget if we are given that example all we have to do is to retain x on its side and then transfer all the constant to the other side. Okay, so let's have another example in solving for rational equation. So let's just erase this part. So let's try another one. So what if we are now given x plus 2 over 8 is equal to 3 over 4. So for this one, what I'll show you is that it is very easy since all we have to do is to cross multiply. Let us just cross multiply, cross multiply. So we'll be having 4 times x plus 2 is equal to 8 times 3. Distribute 4 and we'll be having 4x plus 8 is equal to 8 times 3 is equal to 24. So since this is 4x plus 8 and we need to retain um, the variable on just one side, therefore we need to transfer this out and this becomes 4x is equal to 24 minus 8. Therefore 4x is equal to what is 24 minus 8? Therefore, that is 16. 4x is equal to 16. Divide both sides by 4. Divide both sides by 4. We cancel out 4. Therefore, x is equal to 4. In checking, so let us try to know if 4 is really a solution. So we'll be having the equation x plus 2 over 8 is equal to to 3 over 4. Substituting the value of x as 4, we'll be having 4 plus 2 over 8. Is it equal to 3 over 4? 4 plus 2 is 6 over 8. Is 6 over 8 equal to 3 over 4? We could simplify. 6 over 8 is also equal to 3 over 4. Since we divide the numerator and the denominator by 2, 3 over 4 is equal to 3 over 4. Therefore, x is equal to 4 is a solution. Okay? This is just very easy. So what if we are now given another example in which we have a fraction and the whole number on the left side and a fraction on the right side. So what do we do if we have that kind of example? So let's try to solve for that one. Again, 